A hearing assessment has been scheduled for your baby. This is due to a refer result from when your baby was screened as a newborn. The hearing assessment will help us to know how well your baby is hearing. Even at this young age, good hearing is important for your infant to be able to learn to make sounds and eventually speak. As part of this assessment, your child will receive an ABR test. ABR stands for Auditory Brainstem Response, and it's the best way to test your child's hearing when they are under the age of six months. The ABR test works best while your child is sleeping. An audiologist will use this test and others to determine your baby's hearing. The audiologist will begin by asking you about your baby's health and also answer any questions you might have. This video will help you to get ready to make the most of this very important appointment. The trickiest job you have on assessment day is to bring your baby to the appointment tired. Tired but not asleep. If you can, bring help. If you drive, your helper can sit in the back seat and engage baby. Hopefully, baby's eyes will stay open until you get to the audiologist. But, if the baby falls asleep on the way, all is not lost. Your next plan is to try to bring the baby into the assessment still sleeping. If your baby wakes a little, remember less eye contact and no roughhousing. We're hoping to get the baby back to sleep again for the ABR test. To set up the ABR test, it looks a little confusing, but it's actually just two earphones placed in each of the baby's ears. There are also usually three or four sensors connected to a computer that are like soft little stickers placed on the sleeping baby, usually one on the forehead, one on the temple, and one behind each ear. It's best if the baby's skin is clean and free of oils or creams. In that way, the sensors will stick well. Each of the sensors is connected to the audiologist's computer. The audiologist will play through each headphone, high, mid, and low pitch sounds at different loudness levels. The audiologist will then be able to see, on the computer, the ear's response to those signals. This test does not hurt. Not at all. Young babies are new to listening and so they are not very good at showing us if they've heard a sound. This is especially true for quiet sounds. We need to know at what level a baby can begin to hear quiet sounds. That will tell us if the baby can hear speech comfortably. The ABR is the best test for young babies because we don't need baby to show us a response. The ear will respond. And we can watch for that response with the ABR. The challenge is that it's best if the baby is sleeping. That will help the audiologist to see how the ear responds to the quietest sounds. So, why is it best if the baby is sleeping? When a baby is awake, the muscles of the face and scalp are very active. When a baby sleeps, the nerves and the muscles of the face and scalp quiet down and it makes it easier for the audiologist to see the ear's response to the sounds presented. It's best if you wait to feed baby just before the test begins. In that way, we make it more likely that your baby will fall asleep. Bring anything else that makes sleeping more likely. Diapers, a blanket, swaddling blankets are great. If your baby uses a pacifier, bring it. Whatever might help. So, to get the most out of your baby's ABR appointment, bring your baby tired but awake. No oils, lotions, or creams. And bring help if you can. Wait to feed your baby and then feed your baby at the appointment. And be ready to help your baby to stay asleep with diapers, blankets, pacifiers, or anything else you might think of. When the assessment is finished, the audiologist will discuss the results and answer any questions you might have. Should your baby need further testing, you'll be given another appointment. This hearing assessment is very important to complete. It will help you to know how well your baby is hearing.